So let's be honest, the R15 is just too aggressive for daily use and the FZ models just don't have the dynamic prowess of a proper street naked. If you want a Yamaha and you want a proper street naked in a budget, you're stuck with this, the MT15. And well, today we're here to find out should you spend your money on this bike. The engine in the MT15 is the same as the R15. It has the same 155cc single cylinder engine, but there is a small disappointment. So has the BS6 compliancy actually affected the MT15's engine? Well, for starters, the BS6 compliancy has taken out one fat BHP out of the power line. And well, all in all, that's the only thing that has changed. Torque and economy figures are still the same. 14.7 Newton meters and 48 kmpl of fuel average. Well, that's not bad at all, but has it deferred any of the riding experience? And that's what matters. Even though you might think 1 bhp is a lot of power loss for such a small displacement motorcycle, but the engine and power feel more or less are the same. Yamaha has tuned the ECU differently than the R15. You get more grunt at lower RPMs and in the mid-range, and it also has a little bit more torque than the R15. The Delta Box frame gives the MT15 a super planted feel. This is also partly due to the confidence that it puts out because of the comfortable riding position and just the sheer amount of flickability that the bike has. So the MT15 carries the MT name with utmost pride. All of the MT range looks absolutely stunning. Let it be the MT15, MT03, MT07, all the way up to the big daddy, the MT10. All of them have this signature Iron Man kind of looking DRLs up front. And well, in this chalk and red livery, it looks super premium. You also get other colors like matte black and black and blue. But personally, this is my favorite. The ride on the Yamaha MT15 is really beautiful. It soaks up all of the bumps and potholes really nice. This is mainly due to the front telescopic fork and the rear swing arm. Couple that with a pair of good disc brakes up front and at the back, this bike stops on a dime. So what are my final thoughts on the MT15? Well, there are a few drawbacks but all I can think of is, is positives. Uh, for starters, the colour and the whole body shape with the DRLs up front make it look like a proper angry little street fighter. Some things that I would change, maybe the tyres. The MRFs are not that sticky and well, I would go for some Medzillas or any other brand. The riding position is really great. You have a really nice and comfortable riding position. Engine is also very smooth but I would do with a little bit of more power. The BS6 compliancy has taken out one fat BHP out of the whole power lineup, but it doesn't really make a difference. The bike is still as fast and still as smooth as it was before. So, if you want a bike for 1.5 lakhs and a street naked especially, look no further than the MT15. This should be your pick. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know what you think about the MT15. Also, Shout out to Yamaha Vakrevari for giving us this bike because it was really hard for getting, a, for getting this bike on our hands. And yeah, just check them out. We have their links in the description. See you next time.